In this organic chemistry screencast, we're going to look at the spectroscopy of ethane. So ethane belongs to the functional group alkane. It's a fully saturated hydrocarbon of the molecular formula C286. The molecular weight is 30.070 atomic mass units. And overall, it is a nonpolar molecule. And that can be visualized by looking at the electrostatic potential map. As you see, it's, it's primarily green, so it's a nonpolar molecule. So let's go ahead and look at three forms of spectroscopy for ethane, first IR, then proton NMR, then carbon NMR. So in the IR spectrum of ethane, we have CC and CH sigma bonds. And in the region of about 2,900, to 3100 reciprocal centimeters, we see the CH stretching. So there's, this simulated spectrum will show two of those at in, in that region. So for the most part, all organic molecules will have CH bonds and they'll have these similar modes of, of vibration. So we're not going to really be concerned with anything below 1500 reciprocal centimeters as that's called the fingerprint region. And we're primarily going to be focused on uh, three regions to determine what functional groups are present in a uh, given molecular formula. So let's go ahead and look at the proton NMR. And as you can see in the proton NMR, um, there's only one unique set of protons for ethane, and they're highlighted here. And the chemical shift is at 0.77 parts per million. In a proton NMR, the x-axis runs from 0 parts per million on the right to 10 parts per million on the left. And any sp3 carbon hydrogen bond uh, is, is typically between 0 and 1. As you start substituting groups off that carbon, that will move the chemical shift more towards 10. In the carbon NMR, as you can see, there's only one unique type of carbon, and that occurs at 7.9 parts per million in the simulated spectrum. Notice the difference in scale now on carbon NMR. You're running from 0 parts per million on the right to 200 parts per million on the left. So there is a significantly larger um, range to consider different types of carbon when it occurs in different functional groups and has different hybridizations. So for your standard sp3 hybridized carbon bonded to hydrogens, it's going to be between about 0 and 20. 